This video is about the error 3194 on iTunes and I'm making this video because I just created a video uh, last month uh, about how can you downgrade from iOS 11 to iOS 10.3.3 and it worked fine as when the you know Apple was signing the firmwares it was working fine. Now you can see that Apple has a new updates like 11.0.1, and the 11.0.3 is just released. So uh, due to these new updates, uh, you cannot go back to 10.3.3 uh, if you are having some issue with the iOS 11. What is this error basically? So you have to stick with me in this video because. Uh, there are lots of videos out there on YouTube that uh, will not explain that much. I actually watched a couple of them and uh, Making this video is uh, you know my subscriber, you know, I commented on my video that uh, They're having some issues. So, you know, uh, I'm making this video for my you know YouTube audience So let's get started so first of all, what is the iPhone iTunes 2194 error? So this is a common issue that appears when you know iTunes is unable to communicate it with the update server and it means that your iOS device needs help with this update or restoration. There are many reasons, you know, which can cause this error. So, uh, first of all, the Apple Media Player is not able to communicate with the server, refresh and restore. Uh, the communication is usually due to connection between, you know, it's blocked, restricted or interrupted either by a security software, you know, some antivirus or something like that. And if you're going to downgrade to an earlier version of firmware, it's likely that the version of iOS you're trying to install on your device is no longer signed by Apple. The computer from which you are trying to perform, you know, that operation doesn't have the latest iTunes version installed, and this can also cause, you know, the error 3194. Um, let's say that in other words, this happened because the update version of, you know, our device, the firmware, the software. Uh, we don't know it must be digitally you know, signed by Apple who has stopped signing the version earlier than they have available so you know I actually repeated that uh, several times in my previous video uh, because at that time when I you know created the video it was working you know Apple was signing but now they're not signing the firmware anymore uh, so you need to make sure that you are uh, in your administrator user and that is basically the main one um, which has an administrative rights. So, what you need to do is you need to open up my PC, you know, where the Windows in, is installed, open Windows system 32, drivers, and etc, you know, etc. And you will be able to see these files here. So, there are two files host, you know, one is the file and one is the calendar. So, uh, we will be uh, editing with the uh, this about you know the file type and you can edit with the notepad but I have the notepad plus plus so you can use that as well click on it and it will be um, open like this so uh, you need to add uh, you know the DNS your server IP that we need to plug so uh, okay so the important thing is that uh, there might be different uh, you know server IPs that depends upon your location to so sometime if you block an IP uh, for iTunes that is uh, you are actually not using in your uh, internet connection it might not work so try adding different uh, combinations I have you know search on in Google and you know there were different options that uh, you can add here to block them all and then after your restoration you know downgrading is uh, you know successful you can just remove them just copy that and add it here as it is you know like this and then you know click uh, save so before you make sure that you're saving this you might need to have a backup of this file we're not messing up 
with the actual file which added this bug just as and you know case that something goes wrong so uh, do you want to yeah we just want to do that and yes and it should be saving in a minute so we save that um, uh, let's just uh, open it again to see if that was saved yeah it was saved I'm not actually getting sponsored by these um, software companies, but uh, I'm just trying to help you out. So this method, I tried it from my friend, and it totally works fine. And it's very simple. All you need to do uh, is to uh, download uh, this software first on your Mac and on your uh, Windows. It's right there, and then uh, you need to go to your DFU mode. But I hardly recommend before. Uh, trying any of these uh, steps you need to make sure that you have a backup of your data on your PC or Mac or on your iCloud because they might say that you might not uh, lose your data but uh, it's a good practice you know to make sure that you have a backup so try that first make a backup and then um, connect your phone to your PC uh, with the DFU mode and the link will be in description of this article as well so you can just uh, you didn't you don't need to go to the google and search it so you can just open the link and download the software and uh, also this instructions page will be there uh, and I'll, i will also you know make sure that i briefly describe these steps in my video description so after you go to dfu mode so it's the dfu mode is the same method as you did with the uh, previous step but uh, uh, just make sure that you go into DFU more by pressing the buttons and connect your phone uh, to your PC or Mac and then there's also some video instructions available uh, for how can you achieve that and it's available for other devices like iPhone 6 and older but for the iPhone 7 and 7s plus uh, uh, they might uh, tell you something else but you can try that and if your device doesn't go into DFU mode, all you need to do is, you know, click here and they will, software will firstly take you to DFU mode. And then after you go to DFU modes, so this screen, you know, after you press next and it will automatically detect when you're DFU mode. And then this page will be popping up on your screen and just like your iPhone and iPhone model. This is the, this is called the journal model number and this is called the iPhone model number and this is your firmware and that you want to go back but for the iPhone 7 there are different phenomena like iPhone 7 has some internal names which are uh, iPhone uh, I think 1 iPhone 9 1 and iPhone 9 2 and for the iPhone 7 s plus you know and plus there are um, iPhone 9 I think 3 and iPhone 9 4 so these are some internal names they are not iphone 9s but uh, they are you can i will search in google to see uh, which phone do you have and i will also i have also linked in the description in the first video that um, which phones uh, you can you know always select the one that you have like you don't want to install the wrong firmware for your phone you might think that uh, i have i have iphone 7 and um, it's the same but uh, they are different uh, variants of iPhone 7 like some you know are AT&T there are some Ryzen and so um, there might be some different firmwares available so just make sure that you are always using the one that, one that is for your phone and if you're not able to find it comment below and I will help you to find that firmware but uh, before that make sure you go to my previous video and you know open the video description and you will see all of the available models for iPhone 7 and 6 there and then if you uh, you can this software will automatically download the firmware for you and then it will first download and if something goes wrong and uh, you can download um, it is on your browser like copy this you, you know link here and then open in your you know, Google Chrome or Safari browser and then uh, download the firmware and then after it's downloaded you know click here to select the firmware and it will be installed um, it will you know accept the firmware but I uh, like this is also a uh, available option here that if you want to check your device model here you can just click on this link so it's always very helpful 
and then uh, after this you know when the firmware is done already it will you know say it's repairing and it will take uh, 10 to 15 minutes usually like it can take up to 20 minutes but um, just make sure that when this is happening you don't use your PC and just uh, have a, a good you know battery charge on your phone also make sure that the, the cable that is connecting your phone and your PC or Mac is in good condition and you uh, probably don't want to touch your phone while this process is in happening so um, some data cables are loose uh, I have experienced that and so if you, you touch your phone the data cable might lost the connection and you know everything will be a waste of time and phone might be in serious problem so uh, all these methods are always came with you know, lots of dangerous and you know uh, problems like uh, you don't want that you know phone can be break like they see here so no one you know will be responsible if uh, that happens so just make sure that um, you try all the precautions and then uh, leave that uh, on your uh, yeah you just leave that and then it, let's see how it goes but um, just make sure that you have a backup of your you know phone's data because that sometimes data is more important than your phone and then after this repairing you know box goes full your phone will reboot into the firmware that you have uh, downloaded uh, and all things should be fine it will you know ask you to set up your new, new iPhone or uh, in some case the data is not lost like they say that uh, this method uh, will not uh, delete your data and everything will be there but uh, in you know I tried it two times for my friend and then one time it was fine with the data and second time I actually lost the data and the same case with iTunes iTunes uh, downgrading will definitely lose your data and I, for my personal phone you know, I tried I lost my data and I have also said you know many times in my video that um, the data will be lost if you do that with iTunes and th there was another uh, you know scenario that I did my I did it for my other friend and uh, with iTunes uh, at that time when Apple was signing the firmware and so it was totally fine it worked with a you know without any issues uh, but the data, data was also there and this is not also official tool but if you really want to go back and so this is your option and they this uh, you know what do you call this uh, process will also uh, avoid your uh, phone's warranty so uh, just make sure that um, you know this uh, uh, first so just try that if you really want to go let me know guys if you like the video uh, gives it a thumbs up and if you didn't like the video let me know in the comments that uh, something is wrong for you and also um, uh, let me know how can I you know make more videos that are helpful for you and and again this is a video a second part of my first video like um, a lots of people were you know commenting and asking me in the social media as well that uh, the method is not working anymore because Apple just stopped signing up the firmware so I quickly made this video for my audience and I'm trying to you know being a very active with my YouTube audience so I'm just trying to help them out give them you know all of the thing and uh, if you want me to make more videos like this uh, uh, just try to you know support me in the way that you can and thus I know there are some usual ways that you can you know share this video on social media and you might want to subscribe if you don't want to subscribe just um, um, it's okay it's not a problem so yeah that's it uh, have a good day you know thank you for watching this video and we'll see you next time